Do you like football? You know, I grew up in South Florida and uh, a big fan of the Dolphins. Uh, one of my best friends is a huge Dolphin fan, so uh, every time we go see Uncle Aaron, yeah. <laughs> uh, we are always uh, immersed with Dolphin games. And, uh, uh, and yeah, anytime a good game is on, we are sure to catch it. Yeah, whole entire game day, we were just sitting on the couch rooting for the Dolphins. Yeah. <laughs> so who are you rooting for in the Super Bowl this year? I'd say the Chiefs, probably. I think the Chiefs. Yeah, I mean, you know, we I just... Mean, we just moved from California, so I could say maybe there's a little bit of San Francisco 49ers sort of like <laughs> love still going on, but uh, everybody seems to be uh, you know really rooting for the Chiefs this year, so yeah. uh, I think we might be. What would you say your relationship is like with your teenage daughter? Oh, I mean, I have a great relationship. You know, we, we have a, a family YouTube channel we've been doing since she was four and a half. So we've gone on many adventures around the world together. Um, and uh, we've had a really a good time. I think we've had a great yeah. bonding, great bonding experience. What other special things or activities do you do to connect? What do you, what do, what do you think we do to connect? I mean, I feel like definitely like making videos. And also I think like connecting through like watching like it's like silly but like like watching like shows and stuff like we always like have like a lot of like very like things that are like going on in our minds and we like think about it a lot and like we kind of like analyze like watching or like viewing or whatever and we just have like really like strong opinions on things and it's like great to like have like another's view i mean like this is like so like kind of like random but like i like i'm really into like english as a subject and that's a lot of like sharing your opinions and i think like being able to kind of take that home with my dad for like whatever we're watching is like really great for me. So, yeah. I was gonna say <clears throat> that we dance around the kitchen that's and do too, and that, too. That's, that we just do stupid things like you know just yeah. dancing around and singing and being really like oh and just being silly together. Um, I think I mean I, literally today yeah. I was like we were listening to like just music in the kitchen. Yeah. So I mean I don't know you we went all like really yeah like literal <laughs> like English literature and I'm like. I don't know, just dancing to stupid songs That's in the kitchen and, and in the car singing a Kakuna Matata. So I don't know, I think we do a lot of fun, silly stuff together. Yeah. All right, so for the daughter, um, what is your daily self-care routine for your face? Okay, I'm excited for this. Um, I'll like just show, I guess. Yeah, um, I think it was funny, we were reading the casting thing and she was just telling me about these stars that you put yeah. on your face for... Yeah, uh, and I was like, it's okay if I'm wearing these probably. <laughs> but, um, so I always, in the morning, I do one cleanse and then uh, with a gel cleanser, then I do toner and then I do niacinamide acid and then hyaluronic acid and then I do moisturizer <laughs> and then I do spot treatment and then for the nighttime, I pretty much just do the same thing except I double cleanse. And then after my spot treatment, I do laugh serum. And then once a week, um, I do a poor minimizing mask. And then, yeah, whenever I have acne, I just kind of do the little stars. So, yeah. Wow. I used to just have an oxy pad at night before <laughs> I went to bed. That's all we had. Yeah. Back in my, back in my day. So tell us about your dad. What's your favorite <clears throat> thing to, to do with him? And what's your favorite thing about him? I mean, I, like, we kind of, like, talked about it, like, I think, like, just, like, being able to, like, just, like, go wherever and we're always, like, having a fun time, like, you're, like, one of my favorite things about you, like, I know it's, like, ooh, dad jokes, like, whatever, and, like, I kind of, like, I do mock you sometimes, because sometimes they're not the best, but you try, and that's what I think I is, like, that's what I think is, like, fun, and, like, you always, like, are able to, like, you know, like, bring, like, positivity to, like, a situation, and, like, you're always there to comfort me, like, like, I feel like whenever, like, I really need to, like, like, get something and, like, someone, like, won't understand, like, my point of view, it, I, like, I, you, you always, like, come into my room and you, like, are able to, like, talk to me about it. <laughs> and also, you're just very, like, you're very, like, you're just, like, you love me so much, like, whenever I, like, do, like, anything, like, singing or whatever, like, you're oh always crying, God. and it's, like, I just feel, like, so much more, like, appreciated. You have such a beautiful voice. She's crying. She'll <laughs> sing these songs, and I'm just, like... Yeah. It's beautiful. <laughs> yeah. Are you a Taylor Swift fan or Swifty and have you ever seen her in concert? Yes, I am a hundred percent a Swifty. I mean, come on, like wearing the merch. Like I literally love her so much. Um I like honestly grew up with Taylor Swift. Nineteen eighty nine was like my childhood album. Even though yes I was alive before like like Speak Now and stuff like came out, but still like uh Fearless, I believe, was like Kind of like one of the albums that I grew up with as well. Um, and I just like, I have so many like memories as like 
just listening to her songs in the car as a child, like having to sing alongs with my family. Um, and I have seen two of her shows. Um, I saw the Reputation Tour, uh, I believe at Rose Bowl when we lived back in LA. And I also saw the Airs Tour um, in May um, of 2023. Um, and I saw that at MetLife, but I made my own costume. <laughs> it's not the best right now. Uh, Cause like, I've only worn it one other time besides the Eras tour. Um, is that when we went to the New York, the museum for the Taylor yeah, Swift museum? Yeah, exhibit? and it, yeah. yeah, so it was it was a really cool exhibit. It was really cool. Um, but yeah, so that was like the Shake It Off uh, cheerleader outfit, which also like obviously it's Shake It Off. Like who doesn't love Shake It Off? So. Shake it off. Shake <laughs> yeah. it off. Yeah. Does your dad like Taylor Swift? And have you ever been able to get him to listen to her um, music with you? <laughs> yes. Um. So. Uh, like, around, like, the time that I, like, was, like, leading up to the Eras tour, and then, like, after that, like, I was constantly listening to her in the car. I mean, I always do, but, like, I was listening to her a lot more, because I was like, okay, I need to, like, I need to make sure that I know every single word to every song. Like, I have to be 100% prepared with all the chants and everything. And, like, um, and then, like, after the Eras tour, I, like was obviously still listening to her, but I didn't expect to, like, be picked up from school and have my dad playing her in the car, and I'm like, were you listening to her this whole ride? And he was like, yeah, like, she's like, I love this song, and I'm like, okay, I, like... I think Love Story is my favorite. Yeah, so. oh my gosh, me yeah. too, yeah. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> it's funny, because uh, the other day I went to go pick you up from, from choir, and I had, like, Taylor Swift playing, and I, I, I always have I always have Taylor Swift playing yeah. in the car, or now you've got me into to Leve and, yeah. and stuff like that. So, uh, you know, just from association, from hearing what the kids want to hear, you hear all the songs, and especially with the, you know, Taylor's version, all the songs yeah. came coming out. Like, I, I'm i like, I'm now singing them even when no one's around, so, yeah. or you're not around, so. What are your plans for watching the Super Bowl this year? Um, well, I think the plans for the Super Bowl are, I think we're definitely, I don't think there's a way we're not going to watch. I mean, we're, we're both kind yeah. of excited about uh, about that. And uh, I think everybody, the, the hype is really there because now, obviously. Like Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift. Travis, like, yeah. like, the Chiefs definitely have, like, a lot of more fans right now. Um, uh, and, like, yeah, like, there's a lot of more people at the games and stuff because, like, one, probably to try and find Taylor Swift. I know that's definitely one of the reasons, but also it's, like, Travis Kelsey, I believe he is the one. He is the one for her. He's the one. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm like, you know what? Like, I gotta be the, that person to see it before they're official, like, married. Wow. Yep, they're, right. they're gonna get married. Now, do you think that she's gonna make it back in time from Japan, from her arrows? I really hope so. That's that's what I've been like, all these like they funny TikToks. They say there's enough time. For her there to has back. to be. And do you think she's gonna she do will. a secret performance? No, she's gonna like, be like, no, she's gonna be like singing her songs <coughs> for the set. She's gonna be like, all too well. Like she's just gonna be like, not even. But you think she's gonna perform during a halftime show, like as a surprise? What? Yeah, maybe. Maybe. I don't know. No, but I'm saying like she's gonna like speed up her songs. Oh, oh, at the Eras tour in Japan. Do you guys always watch the Super Bowl together? Um, you know, I don't think we've watched, I don't know if we watch the Super Bowl every year. We don't always yeah. have an opportunity to. Um, sometimes I know, like, we'll be invited to a party or you, you're something yeah, you're invited to a party. Yeah, it's typically, like, us being invited because, like, we do host a lot of parties, like, every year. And it's, like, like, not, like, our whole family as a whole is very, like, into sports. So, like, it wouldn't, like, make sense for us to host a party. So we typically just, like, go to others' houses for it. Yeah, so, but we do yeah. definitely, like, I know mean, we've had, like, I've had, I've had Super Bowl watching parties, yeah, so, uh, yeah. or Super Bowl Super Bowl commercial watching parties <laughs> with all my friends who really aren't big super like su like sports fans, right. and like it's like everybody's in the kitchen doing stuff during the game, and then it's like, then it's like hey, the commercials, hey, commercials are commercials, and then yeah. we all run and we're like, oh look at that Brad Pitt or that whatever the Star Trek or whatever you know whatever commercial is the big commercial that year. So yeah, are you guys planning to have a Super Bowl party this year, or will that more look like your daughter sneaking downstairs to watch the halftime show? I think it's going to be unavoidable to not have a Super Bowl party. I think we, yeah. were, we were planning on being here, um, so I think uh, between the game, between the commercials, uh, between the, you know, uh, the, 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 the Travis Kelsey uh, lookout, uh, you know, with the binoculars, everybody's going to be trying to look, oh, there's, you know, I think there, there's going to be enough uh, excitement going yeah. on. I think everybody's going to be involved this year. Yeah, I feel like I'm definitely, like, going to be, like, 
like he said, like a lot more involved in it this year. So yeah, I'm looking forward to it though. Yeah.